Good day, YouTube. It is the 28th of December, 2020. Hope everybody had a great Christmas. Um, we did. Um, weather was pretty good. We had uh, friends and family. Um, that's uh, kind of what it's all about on our end of the world. Um, wait too much as a rule, but uh, I'm kind of on a weight loss kick, so I, I didn't overdo it. So, um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm kind of proud about that. I'm going to talk a little bit more about shop organization because it's something, as I've been off work this last seven months, um, I have been working to get more organized. It was just one of the things that's been on my list. Um, let's get organized. You know, the shop isn't for, you know, the next one year or whatever, two years, ten years, whatever. It's for the rest of my life. So let's get it organized. Um, and working on the things that bother me the most or that are the most disorganized. Um, if you guys are not uh, long-time subscribers on my channel, um, the room that we're in in my shop right now is, uh, this was an old dairy barn. It was built in 1947. Um, we kind of restored the building. I'm not sure how good the lighting is. You can see my TV's on up there. Um, you know, I'm slowly getting, you know, everything over to LED lighting and stuff like that. I've got an access door there. This is what they call the milking room. There is a furnace right there, but I'm probably going to take it out. Works fine. Um, but I've got an electric heater over there and a portable heater. It just seems to be more convenient. Um, than that uh, noisy propane furnace. So my little welding area, metal prep area, and way too much paint and stuff stored. Um, the Cushman becomes a catch-all for stuff. Um, that's just kind of human nature. I'll try to get to that here pretty soon. But the thing that bothers me the most is this corner. And this is where I keep my fasteners and stuff. Um, you know, organizers are great for, you know, onesie, twosie things, and I flip through them all the time, but the nuts and bolts, the things I use a lot, um, have just been disorganized since day one. I have a lot of cool stuff in this, uh, old Craftsman toolbox, um, fairly organized, I guess I would say, um, these are kind of, you know, adhesives and sealants kind of things in these little drawers. And that keeps this stuff fairly organized, I guess. This is uh, just fuses. Um, but I know there's a few more fuses over here in some of these. So here's a box of them right here. So I'm not as organized as I need to be. I need to get through those and get more organized. Again, this is just fuses. And then this is kind of holdover. There's some... You know, copper washers that probably need to find a different home, but you know, hooks and chain things and brackets and garbage like that. And this is for the assortments of the world. You know, when you go to uh, like Harbor Freight and stuff, and you get uh, um, hitch pins and uh, cotter pins and uh, you know that type of thing. I got some metric nuts and bolts because I just never seem to have what I need. That's been very handy to have. O-rings, that kind of stuff, all in here. They kind of fit okay. This is a miscellaneous electrical drawer. You know, this is a miscellaneous plumbing drawer. And then this is another just miscellaneous stuff that I don't want to throw away. Another miscellaneous stuff, and then the bottom drawer is just full of the fasteners and nuts and bolts. That drawer is full, it's 100 pounds, easy of stuff you wouldn't want to throw away and somebody might need one day and you'd go through it. But quite honestly, I don't get much out of that drawer. Not sure why I keep it, but I do. So there it is. But when I go get nuts, bolts, and screws for specialty things, wood screws, siding screws, sheetrock screws, they end up piled. And the pile's growing. And I don't know what I have, so I can't find what I have. And then it morphs over to here and gets piled. Then there's boxes and then there's containers and there's more boxes. And then they fall on the floor. And it's like, ugh, it is time to do something. I think it's time for another toolbox. Um, and it's time to get rid of... This is the organizer I probably use the most. It has quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, and half inch nuts, bolts, screws, all new, all sorted, um, and ready to roll. 
but I have dropped at least that top drawer on the floor four or five times. Once a year, seems like. Every other year, something like that. And then again, the overstock of nuts and bolts gets here. Then I have to find room in here. And then, uh, I can't find what I need. That becomes very, very frustrating. Um, so it's time to do something. I think it's time to go to Harbor Freight and pick a toolbox. Um, of, I don't want it huge. I, I need to have it come in underneath the, uh, underneath the lip here. This is uh, a concrete wall. Uh, I need it to be, a, you know, maybe a little bit taller than this guy. Um, but to be have enough drawers in it, that I can put organizers in it, put all the nuts and bolts in that, and let's clean up my wall of shame. Um, it's the least organized thing in my shop, and today is the day to fix that. Let's make a run to Harbor Freight. Let's go. All right, I have returned from Harbor Freight, and we have a toolbox. Um, this is another U.S. General. I bought a blue one this time. That way all my fasteners can be in a different color box. And they had a ton of blue ones. So this is a 26-inch uh, wide by 22-inch deep. Um, it's got like eight drawers in it. Um, real pretty color. Um, it'll hold 1,000 pounds. It'll probably get 1,000 pounds for too long. And... Uh, this is going to just fill the bill, I think. I bet this takes two days to get this all set up and organized, but it'll sure be worth it. It'll sure be worth it. All right, let me get this thing unboxed. Let me get it out of the trailer. Let's get it in the shop, and let's get this going. All right, we're making progress. We got the toolbox in the shop. I got a bunch of miscellaneous sitting on top. We're going to. I'm going to go down to Harbor Freight and get... Uh, some organizer boxes. I actually took the time this morning. I went to the two big box stores looking at toolboxes and the Harbor Freight before I decided that I would buy the Harbor Freight one. Um, and I uh, grabbed some organizers off the shelf while I was in the store um, and laid them out in this drawer. And I can fit one, two, three wide, maybe up front, and then two sideways in this drawer. They fit beautifully um, and it still shuts I don't intend to leave the lids on I'm just gonna whatever it takes to get the lids off of them so I can pull out the drawer and have my nuts and bolts I want to devote an organizer to quarter 20 to 5 sixteenths 18 to 3 eighths um, and then one to half inch and then I don't know the other one miscellaneous or something I think I'll leave the second drawer of this box um, for more of the same or some variations of the same. I'll put like the standard ones um, up here and then maybe leave this for like uh, national fine, um, nylock nuts. We'll just see how this thing develops. Um, I have some stainless steel for various things. We'll see how that goes. But I want to get rid of uh -huh. that organizer. This one would be fine to leave as is, but I want to get rid of that organizer for, that's where I currently store my quarter, 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths, and a half. Okay, and it's inconvenient as heck. And the drawers are really heavy, they're hard to get out, etc., etc., etc. I'll show you what else I got in here. So far, just getting this thing started. This is just some miscellaneous uh, screws. Not wood screws or metal screws, but machine screws. And then I'll just find rat holes for various things that I run across during this organization process. This is the sheet metal screws wood screw drawer in their original packaging. Most of the time I'm going to pick up an organizer as well um, for this drawer. It can be a little deeper organizer. Okay. So far I've put tape in here. It's another thing I have a hard time get, keeping a hold of. It's everywhere in here. Um, I need to go gather it all up and put it in one drawer. Just masking tape type, so spare for the moment. Um, this has the big boxes of um, like sheetrock screws and stuff like you buy it in bigger quantity. And I have put my tapers in here because I tend to lose those. And I do use them quite a bit for quick masking stuff off and they're always buried okay and then the bottom drawer for my DA sanders I got around the rest of them up there's a couple more here somewhere um, 
room for them, the DA paper, and maybe some of the sandpaper. Um, nice place to keep that. I'm going to fill this thing up, no doubt, before the day's over. Um, but for now, i got to go get some organizers, so it's back to Harbor Freight. Back from Harbor Freight. i got one big organizer. Five bucks. Picked up a couple more. 69 cents on the coupon. And i got five of them this size, because five of these will fit the drawer perfectly. Um, I don't know how easily the lid is removed. So, let's try that. I just want to be able to reach in and get bolts out. I don't want to have to remove the organizer or take the lid off or whatever. Just, okay. We'll just cut it. Um, these have uh, removable dividers, so you can make the compartments bigger. And the uh, nice thing is, of course, they have that same box at the store, so you can put these in the drawers and uh, to get the organizers that you want. I'll just show you what this is, in case anybody's really interested. All right. All right, let's uh, put them in the box, shall we? I think I'll cut that thing off of there too. All right, let me uh, fill the drawer. Okay, now the work begins. It's time to take what is in uh, that organizer and move it to here. And then I see a trip to the local farm store. We buy fasteners by the pound and uh, increase the amount of fasteners that I have here, get them separated by size, make this thing really cool, really functional. Very, very excited to get this far. All right, I'm gonna go to work. I'll bring you back when I got something to show you. Check this out. Look at that. Is that awesome or what? I've everything moved over my quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, half inch, and this is miscellaneous of all of the above. There's some fine thread quarter, some fine thread uh, 5 sixteenths, some fine thread 3 eighths, um, stainless steel. I have a bunch of stainless steel half inch nuts that I scared up from somewhere. Some stainless steel 3 eighths nuts, some rod couplers, that kind of thing. I had some extra 3 eighths by 1 bolts. Instead of taking more room, there was just some wasted space there. I stacked them up in the back. Um, so they'll be fine that I don't have to max out more of this. So I think tomorrow I'm going to get uh, more organizers of this size and go ahead and separate my 632, 832, 1032, and 1024 into this drawer. Um, I have some boxes and I have some uh, in my other organizer. Um, and again, it's difficult to deal with. So I'll probably also do a sheet metal screws in here. Um, this in here, I've moved some of my machine screws to here, but uh, I'm gonna move them up uh, into here when I get those organizers tomorrow. Um, I put some lug nuts and stuff in there and things like that. What do we got down here? So these are like the wood fasteners. And then this is just some miscellaneous, uh, kind of wood-related carriage bolts, um, that kind of thing. Just miscellaneous. Got a, one or two empty holes for other things. There's just some really long quarter 20s that I got from somewhere. I don't know, but you use them once. If you know you got them, you can find them. That's the ticket. So still got to scare up some tape from around here. It's everywhere. At least I have a place to put it. I got an extra drawer put my tapers in here and then my big boxes of like sheetrock screws that you buy in bulk and then my DA sanders down here I got to get a couple more out of the big shelf and get everything in one place that's awesome I have a little extra space so gang appreciate you hanging out I hope uh, maybe I've inspired someone to if you have the need for bolt bins and stuff like that um, and I 
I'm pretty happy I'm getting mostly out of the little plastic bolt bins. I'm just tired of it. But this is going to be awesome. So i got to get all this garbage moved, um, put away, and all that jazz. So tomorrow, I'll kind of finish this up. But right now, we'll finish up this video. Guys, thanks for watching, comment, subscribing. Hit the thumbs up on the way out the door. Catch you on the next one. Well, I got all my small fasteners moved over, and I thought I'd sneak in a quick peek for y'all. I showed y'all this, my half, um, half, three-eighths, five-sixteenths, quarter-inch. Um, here's uh, some of the weird stuff. I went in and outfitted this whole drawer. You, know, you get these organizers right there on the shelf at Harbor Freight. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it. The box itself, 270 bucks. if you use your 10% off coupon. Um, if you can find 10% off coupon right now, it's uh, until the end of 2020. The 10% off coupon for all of their U.S. General boxes. Uh, anyway, uh, start over here, 632, 832, 1032, 1024. I don't have a great selection of 1024. Um, here's some quarter inch uh, 24 thread, so this is national fine. I got some 516 bolts, which I keep these in stock for battery terminals, okay? Um, hang on a second. I got one handy. It replaces this bolt on a battery end, okay? So I keep those here with a long of these are 516 square head along with some stainless steel nuts um, that way I can replace bolts on battery stuff um, these are uh, stainless steel 632 over here just a overstock of longer 632 I have uh, lots of it um, some te short tech screws some button head tech screws some button head pointed screws uh, oh pointed screws here tech screws here Miscellaneous tech screws, some number eight sheet metal screws, some flathead sheet metal screws. The idea is this is like number six sheet metal, uh, number eight, um, miscellaneous number 10, a whole bunch of number 10 and number 12 sheet metal screws. Miscellaneous lag screws, just miscellaneous uh, screws again, some number eight uh, wing nuts, other tech screws. Uh, yeah. So I've got. Pretty much everything moved over. I have a spare, a, narrow, a short drawer. Um, went ahead and went down to the dollar store and got some other containers this morning um, for like lug nuts, um, different lug nuts. I do find I use these quite a little bit. I put a magnetic tray in here just for the throw the miscellaneous in, um, boxes of miscellaneous screws and just things that didn't really fit anywhere else but are open here where I can see them. Which is great. Um, back through the tape. I scared up a little more around here. Got a spare drawer. And then for my uh, masking machines there. Um, sandpaper in the DA. So uh, it's real nice to have this done. I got a little bit of rearranging to do uh, yet today to put that in place. But I'm glad to have that completed. Okay. I got rid of some of the clutter here. I can work a little more on that. I actually emptied up many of the bins here. I'm going to pull these out, put them into here, throw that one away. Um, it's got a lot of miscellaneous and metric stuff in there. I just need to find a home on a shelf for all this miscellaneous paint stuff and uh, move that uh, box in place and we'll have it. Gang, thanks again. We'll catch you on the next video.